Welcome to Home Coach. I am Jason, and on this episode, I'll be taking you through my kitchen renovation project. Stay tuned. Renovation project starts with the decision to actually take action, right? To renovate a space. Now, you need to think about of several things. One is the planning, two is the financing, and three, what you're going to do during that time when the kitchen is being renovated, right? So I'll be guiding you through those three steps. I'll start off with the financing. Now, for me, of course, I have a link right here. So it's pretty simple, I'm getting a home improvement loan and I'll do a separate video to take you through that process. So I got my funding through this place, Jamaica National. Alright, now planning. Uh, I'll share with you in terms of the things that, have, uh, that went into the kitchen. Um, and it all started from the planning in terms of drawing the actual plan because for every single pipe you need to know where that is going to be um, before you even start the construction phase. Alright, so the planning is very important and of course I went through the process so I have contacts so if you need it I'll, I'll, I'll hook you up. And three, you have to think about what you're going to do during the renovation process. Now that was easy for me, I really don't cook, um, I really don't use a kitchen. Yeah, I just love looking at it. So for me, takeout was the order of the day. And of course, I have my little toaster oven with two burners at the top. So that's how I boil my eggs and water when needed. All right, now for me, my renovation project for my kitchen was actually pretty much to remove the one that I had entirely and build a new, a new space for the kitchen. So it actually started from digging foundation from ground right up. Um, so it was, a, it was quite a journey, um, the construction phase for the entire project because it wasn't just the kitchen that I did at once, it was a whole home improvement that I did. And uh, the kitchen as part of that project took approximately three months to build a uh, contractor, absolutely perfect. Um, that process was quick and then it was time for the finishing. Now the design, the interior designing was all done by Google and I, right? This is pretty much just research on my own. Sit down and search best looking kitchen, modern kitchen, and you just search and the ideas just comes up and then you just put them all together and you see the finished product at the end of this video. So Google and I designed it and I pretty much project managed that phase of it. So instead of having the contractor manage that, I did it myself. Um, so pulling together different suppliers from a carpenter, from somebody to do the countertop, somebody to install the, the, the electronics, the appliances is the better word, <laughs> the appliances, um, the tiling, everything coming together. So you have to find your, your different suppliers, right? Um, during the process, for me, um, I had to do a makeshift kitchen. So I have my little trestle table and again, my toaster oven, my two burner toaster oven. I will use that during the process. Uh, the overall construction process for me was a very good experience, I must be honest. Um, I had a few delays with like the carpenter, he took maybe a month or two extra. But the horror stories that I've heard to me, that, 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 that was, wasn't too much of a wait compared to some of our friends who are going through this process. Alright, so the finishing um, starts with you want to get the heavier stuff done first, right? Um, so it was important to get the painting done first in terms of painting the roof, um, the ceiling as well, you want to. Um, so I have a nice little design in the roof, so you have to get stuff like that done. All right, so shopping was one of my favorite parts, right? Um, first, I believe in supporting Jamaican, Jamaican companies, first of all, right? So the majority of the furniture in my house, once it can be made, it's made. So sofa, bed, everything was made locally. And I find a carpenter somewhere in Jamaica who, who I believe can deliver. So naturally, when it's time to do the kitchen, the cupboards were made locally. Found a carpenter and he, I believe, though I waited 
two months extra he did an absolute fantastic job so the kitchen was well done in terms of the cupboards then it was time for the appliances i kept my old fridge um, but i bought a new a new oven microwave a stove top a vent so quite a few stuff so for the items i couldn't find locally of course amazon was my best friend Ordered the stuff shipped them to my stepmom in new york and then she shipped them out for me um, so yeah that's pretty much it in terms of the construction process as i mentioned before um, it was a very good experience it, and i think because i made up my mind that i was going to be uncomfortable for a specific period um, when i became uncomfortable i mean i was already prepared for it mentally so the process was pretty smooth for me um, overall Things went well because I did a lot of planning. I mean, that's what I do from a corporate standpoint. So I applied that planning skill to the actual project myself. Um, there was one error that we made in terms of the pipe for the island wasn't where it's supposed to be. So we had to like dig up the tile and, 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 and move over the pipe and then relay the tile. So that part for me was a little bit disappointing because I thought I did all the planning, but you know, Murphy's Law, what can go wrong will go wrong, or something like that. Um, I'm looking at the space just to see <laughs> what else I want to talk about right now. The box splash, the tile shopping experience for the kitchen. Um, so it's a continuation from the original house. I bought the tiles for the original house maybe two years before this construction process because let me not get into that, but yeah, I had to retile the original house. Um, so I needed to find the tiles to put in the kitchen so that it looks like one it flows when I went to creative building finishes um, to get the tile I was told that it was out of stock but yo Altia big up yourself if you watch this Altia was able to put in a special order for me albeit it took six weeks to come to Jamaica but she got it in for me so now all the tile flows so i was able to get back the original tile in the new space and then she took over she was so excited about the project um, she was the one who recommended the backsplash um, i was a little bit uh, not so sure about it i shared it with my my, my, my co-project manager um, leon and he was like i'm ah, not too sure about this but then Altia insists that it's going to be a good product and I like it at the end and trust me, she wasn't wrong about that any at all. So for me, the box splash, absolutely fantastic. I use it a lot, don't. That's my new word. And then I met Gareth, Gareth Ford. Yo, big up yourself, Gareth. He actually made a few recommendations as well. So Gareth was the one who did the countertops. Um, so he went shopping with me, he arranged the pickup, he, he came in and him and his team, they did all the installation. Of course, I was just there looking and recording some of it. Um, it was a pleasure working with, with, with Gareth. Um, installation of the appliances, uh, my electrician was able to do that for me. So he did all the work, I uh, didn't have to pay somebody else to do it. Uh, Marlon, yo bro. Big up, yeah, job well done in terms of the installation and ensuring that the plugs were in the right place from foundation stage of the project. Um, what I did myself, I was the one who actually put up the vent. Leon came and helped me to lay it out in terms of the identify the markers, but something happened because he was supposed to do it for me and I never had some, I don't want to call what it was. And he marked it out, but then I was the one who put up the vent myself so they got me Matthew may use a line enough one time <laughs> yeah um but let's do a tour of the final product so I know I've been promising for a couple months now on social media that I'm going to actually share the kitchen. So here it is, the final product is here. So come through. So first of all, you cannot ignore the good old faithful toaster with two burner oven, that's what I call it. This is what I was using for 
like six months during the construction phase and even after the construction for a couple months I've been using this to boil water and eggs yeah of course on the good old bu buckets then come over mm, general stuff we start the variety I used to work out so I have that um, good old five-year-old bread pan the counters uh, we have been easy some under sink cupboards a nice double sink I'll tag all of these items um, so you can you can find them uh, this I got from active and of course they have a nice dish drainer a nice caddy um, I, I love this because it doesn't take up any counter space um, it, it mounted as you can see over the sink um, usual window blinds overhead cupboards uh, moving down and then, uh, boom spice rack yeah pretty cool um, I find it challenging to get to the stuff down those but I really don't have that many spices so I really just use the top one uh, this was recommended by my carpenter I uh, never knew about it before but I love it uh, usual cupboards cupboards overhead of course you have to put in some lights because light does the trick um, good old spice rack I had this maybe like six years never ever used but we have it um, then you have the stuff the, the stove stove top um, which is just a cooktop uh, pretty nice electric stove uh, you have um, the vent a wood um, I really like this the backsplash I must say if you can see it uh, really nice I got it from creative building finish big up, big up Altia for that and this is one of my favorite thing right they call it a pot filler so it pretty much moves it anywhere over the stove so gone are those days when you have to the pipe and full container with water to put in your pot you just boom turn on the pipe yeah, pretty cool. So that's a pot filler, just regular storage. Um, here is microwave and oven, um, pretty cool. Some storage underneath uh, the fridge right here. This is my old fridge, um, but the space was designed for the fridge that I actually want. Can't afford it yet. Um, so if you know any link, we have some funds. Boss me, broke your nose, me. Um, the island, beautiful island, uh, really nice. Big up Gareth for recommending the size because I was actually, I had something smaller in mind. Um, so you have a uh, sink, pretty nice, you can move all over the place, you can even spin it around, but we don't want to mess up the place, yeah? Pretty cool. Um, and then my favorite part is this little thing right here. So, so boom, drop your phone, don't disappoint, don't disappoint, don't disappoint, don't disappoint, boom, charging, yeah? And you know if you want to do some cooking at the counter or you want to plug in your, your mixer or whatever it is you just press this one time what matter it's like an express one time and you get some plugs pretty decent very simple um, the space is kind of small I believe this is about uh, 15 by 17 or something like that but it, it works it's functional you have the lights you have two different kind of lights you know the over the island and the roof lights um yeah so that's it after pretty much one year of hard work hard labor kitchen is pretty much completed thanks to the team who worked on it um you know you have the delays with the carpenter and so on and so forth but overall i enjoy the process and have a great product in my mind what do you think <laughs>